hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe so i've been on a journey and i've promised uh, to share the things that i'm learning and as i'm uh, developing different skills and the different tools that i use in this uh, effort so my i really really want to improve on my you know filmmaking my short filmmaking and when, you know the challenge is always being render time you know how long it takes to render a scene so that you can get to the final part of uh, compositing and bring in all the whistles and bells of nice you know color grading all those cool things right so let me show you the path that i'm taking i am starting off in a character creator 3 so this character you see here is a little alien dude that i've been working on and i've used the skin gen uh, plugin for character creator 3.3 the new one uh, to generate that character okay and i exported the character to iclone using the avatar save and this is the character now in iclone it's animated right and so if i play back and actually what i've done now is i've activated uh, the link is activated for unreal the unreal live link so this plugin is free you know if you own iclone and you are a member of uh the religion a system of tools and that gives me the ability to if i play it back right so that's the animation and i've already done the facial motion capture using my iphone 10 you know with, with live face and connected the the face to unreal so that's the Unreal Engine, and you can see the animation going from iClone. And I've enabled, uh, I've created a master sequencer here, and added my camera as the one that's being driven. So right now, because I have so many things going on, you can see it's kind of stuttering, and which is to be expected, because when you're doing the final render, so before uh, recording the animation, um, I would first have to turn off all the settings in here and then stream the motion the motion uh, capture data from the face of the character from here onto into Unreal. But as you can see, it's working nicely. The facial animation is working and that is made possible by capturing the motion, the facial motion capture from the iPhone 10 uh, using the live face plugin and then using iClone to record the animation and also using the puppeteer to then send that animation over to Unreal. And let me pause the animation now, but let me find actually a code, like a core cool frame. So there's motion, rather the motion blur in this particular camera. So that's why you can see it looking a little blurry. But this is a very good uh, workflow that I'm finding that it, it you know, in, as I'm trying to tell this story, I am able to finally able to send my short animation from iClone, uh, starting off in uh, Character Creator 3 and then into Unreal. And I think in Unreal, the key is lighting. Once you master the lighting aspect of it all, it, that's when your shot, you know, takes off and the short film looks much better. And I'd be, I'd seen a lot of uh, really nice renders from different people of uh, Unreal. And I was like, man, how do you get to do that? But finally, I think I've cracked the code and I'll continue to share my journey as I build this uh, short film together again. Thank you so much to Reillusion and uh, Epic Games for, for you guys creating these tools for us so we can tell our stories. Uh, so again, the pathway is from... Uh, character creator 3 where I customize the the character and use a skin gen to add like the scar for example uh, that this little alien dude is being interviewed and he's uh, auditioning for something and then animating that file and exporting it as an avatar into iClone then from iClone taking it to Unreal and setting up the sequencer 
so you have a shot like that and then this is after this i'll be able to render so please don't forget to subscribe and click like on this video i will continue to share my journey as i create this short film and render out the final uh, short film and the video but thanks again for your support thank you for liking my videos and subscribe please share and please not click that notification bell so you may be alerted when i post a new video thank you so much again and uh, <laughs> man virtual filmmaking is here to stay i think uh, enjoy guys and uh, please for post any comments if you're using an unreal engine to make films your short films i would love to hear from you thank you very much